Hi, and welcome to the Incredible Life of Cat. Today, I was going to talk to you about decanting Bath and Body Works. To decant a perfume, things like that, why people do it, what is it. Basically, what it is, is extracting some or all, or maybe a little bit, out of your large fine fragrance mist and putting it into a smaller bottle. So there's a lot of people online that like to sell perfumes that way, like decants of them, which is fine. I don't plan on doing that. That's not as, as intriguing as it sounds. I don't see that working out for me. Um, what I like to do is for me, this way I can either take it on the go or besides taking it on the go, when you have a problem with a problem bottle, like ones like this, and like for instance, the other one, the straw was snapped off, so we had to take the whole top off. But now, even then, I could probably get into it and decant it, depending on how bad the damage is. Um, I've noticed, not this fine fragrance mist in particular, I'm just gonna use this as an example, but sometimes the mister just isn't what it should be or you break it off and when you get it on, it just isn't the same. Unless something is pretty far down, I'm not planning on taking the nozzle off and doing it that way. But if I have product I can share with my sister, like give her a little 10 millimeter, a little tiny one to try, I'll do that. But I was looking for a way to be able to basically when I need to switch out of a large bottle for a reason to a smaller bottle, I can do it myself without my husband having to strong arm the the metal piece right here and do that for me because my hands just are not strong enough and I've done it in the past and it was just, it was basically a shit show. Speaking of shit show, welcome to my channel and if you haven't already, you can hit like and subscribe. That's up to you. But I'm going to show you guys how I did this the other day. This is a Fiji White Sands hand sanitizer bottle. I already finished this for the month, um, so I'm going to be putting this in here. And I washed it thoroughly after I had the hand sanitizer in there. And then I'm also, every time I use this, I'm going to rewash it and put it aside just in case I need to move some product. I also noticed that, I mean, even though the sprayers now tend to be spraying a little bit more, I wish I had a good example, but I really don't think I do. Um, I just noticed that the sprayers like this one, the sprayer is awesome, right? I get through it pretty quickly, but what's a good example? This one is subpar. This one is okay. They're okay now, but before, not so much. For a while there, I was just having trouble after trouble after trouble with the lids. So if I am, am having that trouble, I might decant an item into a smaller bottle if I can. That was an interesting mix. <laughs> I said a pound cake and firework and firecracker pop. You don't need an entire needle to decant an item. You can, there are several different methods and you can even buy like decanting ones. There's a little special nozzle you can buy for bottles even to decant out of them. It's completely up to the user. I'm using what I have on hand. So, and this is because I have animals. Um, and my daughter, but this is one of those syringes that you can give medicine in to an animal, to a cat, whatnot. This was never used on any of them. If I have one and I don't use it, like when it comes to medicine, my daughter, sometimes things come with this, but I don't need it anymore. So I hold on to them. But, uh, what I did was I just widened the end of it. I don't know how well you can see that. I widened the end of it with a fork you can use a pair of scissors but it's easier to start with a fork and then use a pair of like the end of a pair of scissors i don't like having to use needles or having needles in the house in general unless i have to to me you know my mom i grew up with her and diabetes and yeah there was needles in the house but not something i'm comfortable with my husband faints when he sees needles so the plunger is fine for me <laughs> but i'm gonna give you guys like show you what i do for mine so I'm gonna have this ready with the lid off. And then we're gonna take just the nozzle off, if I can take it off. And I just broke it. Uh-oh. Hmm. 
You need this little device here. To fit in there. Okay, and I've got it pressed down. Voila. And that is going. That was that would have been really embarrassing, huh? But basically what you do is you put it right on here. You gotta press down. I'm trying to give you a better look. And you're filling up. But you gotta make sure you press down, otherwise you're not gonna get that section that you're looking for. And I always let it go before taking that off. Don't be like me, you mess up. And now, Yeah, it doesn't spray as well, but I'm going to be finishing this anyway. It's okay. There you go. You just have to adjust it a little bit, but as you can see, easily done. Not a master at this, by the way, but I kind of wanted to share that with you guys. And... I have ones where the nozzle was spraying like that anyway, so not a big deal to me. I'm going to be working on this this evening, and if I had to decant all of it into here, I probably would because this sprayer is a lot better than that sprayer. I feel like it sprays more. You're getting more of a mist and more coverage, and also if you're tr kind of struggling to go through your fine fragrance mist and actually finish them, this could be a way if you had a bottle with a better nozzle to kind of assist you with that. Um, that is another way I'm kind of looking at it because even for me, sometimes I have a great time just go through a bottle really easily and sometimes I don't. But the bigger the mister, the easier it is to use. So I kind of keep that in mind. And hopefully I will edit this correctly so you guys don't see as many bloopers as I just made. And I will talk to you later. Bye.